Greetings. Hi there, folks. Hope everybody's having a great weekend. So, I thought we'd do a little video today on the Neo Geo Mini. Now, this came out at the back end last year. Um, they first released um, a version of it in Japan. And then they released the international version to the UK and European market. So we're going to have a look at the 40th anniversary Neo Geo Mini International Pro Gear Spec Advanced Entertainment System from SNK. The future is now. Okay, so let's start with a closer look at the main box. Um, I do really like this box actually. It's nice and small, it's compact. It's got a nice finish to it. Great Neo Geo logo on the front there. Um, we have a look at the back. It gives us a look at the 40 classic games that are on there. Some really good Neo Geo classics on there. And on the side, we get a nice view of the machine itself. My only gripe with the uh, with the European version, sorry, the international version, is it looks a little bit plain compared to the uh, the Japanese version. But you know, I popped a few stickers on mine. Okay, so that's a close look at the box. So I also sprung for the extra joypad for me hook it up to the TV. I'll break that out in a second, and we'll have a closer look at that. The legacy lives on. Yeah, it does. And. The official Neo Geo HDMI cable. Now I'm sure any HDMI cable would have done. Um, you know, I was buying the set, so I thought I might as well buy this as well. Ten pounds, not too bad. Maybe it's too much for uh, an HDMI cable, but there we go. So those are the two accessories that I got with the machine. Um, we'll break the boxes open and have a look at them now. Okay, so here's the machine itself. Um, it is a nice looking little machine. It's quite light. In all honesty, I wasn't really going to bother with one of these. Um, one of the main put offs for me was the fact that it didn't have a built in battery and you have to plug it into USB to play it. But given the amount of batteries that I went through on the uh, the Neo Geo X Gold, maybe that's a good thing. So let's power it on and we'll have a closer look. How cool is that when that lights up? That is pretty cool. So here we are. Straight into the menu, no messing. Plenty of Metal Slug games, Samurai Showdown 3, Magician Lord, Blue Journey. King of Fighters 95, King of Fighters 97, 98. King Fighters 2002, that's, a, that's what's playing behind us actually, so let's have a look. Nice loud sound, nice clean screen. Right, let's have a look at a little bit of gameplay on this. The joystick feels really nice actually, uh, although it's quite small, it's, it's really easy to use. Um, the buttons have a nice feel to them. Um, 
you'd be surprised at uh, how easy it is to clear. It, it looks quite small and like your fingers might have trouble, uh, trouble using it, but it's actually really, uh, really comfortable. I was never the best at uh, Neo Geo games. Hence, uh, I've just got my ass kicked there. Alright, let's have another go at this. Oh, I've seen my ass. Pull off, uh... Oh, actually, it does if you. Yep. Oh, 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 she's not playing games. Right, what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to break out the, uh, the Neo Geo Joypad and plug that in. Um, and we'll try it that way, okay? Oh, great stuff. Just before we, uh, just before we start with the, uh, the Joypad, just to let you know, if you hold both the Start and the Select button down at the same time, it takes you to this menu. Exit. Save, you can actually save your games, load, obviously load the games that you saved, and brightness and volume, yeah? If you press them both together again, it doesn't do anything, because you're meant to press A. <laughs> there we go, right. I'm going to plug the joypad in now and have a look at a different game, okay? Let's go to look at the joypad. Um, I'm going to say it is a nice, nice joypad, it feels really nice, it feels well made. And there's the little instruction manual that came with it. And that just fits by USB-C in the side of the arcade machine there. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a different game now. I do actually like Blazing Star, I downloaded this on the, uh, on the Nintendo Switch. It's, uh, it's a pretty good shooter. Some of the classic Japanese style. Ridiculous amount of enemies, awesome music. Um, unwinnable odds. Yeah, I, I this trade pad is really nice to use actually. Alright, so what we're going to do now is... Um, I'm going to hook it up to the old 55 inch in the front room and we'll see how she uh, goes on the big TV. So that's going to be uh, coming next in a few seconds or something like that. So upon closer inspection of the HDMI, which I thought was a standard one, it isn't. Um, this is a standard HDMI that goes into the TV. However, the other end is smaller, which goes into the back of the console itself. So, you actually need this special HDMI cable if you want to play it on the TV. Who knew? Okay, so we've got the machine nestled nicely just under the TV there. Um, the HDMI cable is plugged in and I've got the joypad here in my hand. I must say, it doesn't do it justice through the camera, it looks fantastic on the uh, on the TV. Ah, oh, Magician Lord. I do quite like this game actually, so let's have a quick look at this.
sounds great. have that little, uh, little bit of a smooth effect on them. Ah, crap, I'm dead. That little, uh, that, like, smoothing over effect that, uh, all the retro games have these days on the new TVs. I don't think there's anywhere in the settings, like, on the, uh, on the mini SNES where you can change it to, like, a CRT view. the only downfall so far. Not this time. Right. So let's have a look at something else, yeah? Now I'm actually quite a big fan of Mark of the Wolves. I'm not 100 percent sure whether it's on here or not. It doesn't look like it is. Damn, that's disappointing. Um I think it's on the Japanese version. They could have sacrificed one of the Oh no, it's there, sorry, I do apologise. There we go. Mark of the Wolves. I do uh, I do really like this game actually. Let's have a quick blast on this as fighters go. I wonder what Giga Power Pro Gear Spec actually means. Story mode. I'm a big fan of this guy. guys that's uh that's a look at how the uh, the machine plays on the tv itself pretty good in my opinion and the joypad is excellent okay guys so there's our look at the neo geo mini international version